Hey, what's up, coin hunters, and welcome to the look at the new Mary Annin um, Plesiosaurus 50 pence piece by the Royal Mint. Right, this is the second time I'm trying to record this because the first time I didn't notice that my Chromebook's uh, microphone was off. <laughs> so, um, I'd put the video out and I did a video just before it, checked it. That one was fine, automatically just put them both up at the same time, not really checking, but for some reason the uh, microphone was off. So yeah, as always, we've got a brand new um, 50 pence coin and we're going to have a look at all the different versions of it. The regular copper nickel, what we can get with silver proofs and gold proofs. Also, we're going to have a look at um, what Westminster Collection are offering and their prices and also now we have a new player when it comes to carded 50 pences and that's the coin club so we're going to have a look at their offerings as well their prices compared to royal mint and um westminster collection as well so i hope everyone is doing good having successful coin hunts and everything as always so let's get into it and have a look and see what mintage is and what they've offered with this lovely lovely coin so this is the main royal mint website of course that we're going to have a look at so if i just scroll down a bit these are going to be what offerings they got so the first things you can see is over here we've got the standard copper nickel one um, no color in chest the regular 50p if it was to go into circulation looking coin here we have the colored exclusive to Royal Mint. So basically now Royal Mint are doing exclusives on their coins. It's £10 more, obviously, because the regular one is £10. This one's going to be £20 for the coloring. Now, I always get in trouble with some people when I say they're a decal. For me, it's just a normal 50p and you're paying £10 for a decal. I don't care if they stamp it on or whatever. They're going to have to get that perfectly lined every time um, but yeah for me it's just 10 pounds for a decal there is something special in this one though um, that we'll take a look at which is really really nice then we have the colored um, silver proof this would actually be the silver proof I would go for um, just because it's in its protective perspex box I like the protection on it um, I like the look of it and everything like that so with this one our limited edition is 50,000 and with that silver proof is 7,000 now the regular one is going to be unlimited so basically as long as there's a demand they will make it um, this year that's how it will be I don't don't think they'll make any more next year so it's like they do a run for 2021 then it's done then if we move down here the other offerings are obviously the regular silver proof here and we got the gorgeous gold proof there as well um, they also do like a subscription now so if you want the whole set you can either obviously spend the 1100 pounds on a gold proof each month remember that um, the 67 pounds for the colored um, silver proofs every month and then it goes so on so on down to the £10 ones. Um, I like that idea. I did sign up for the £10 ones because I just like them. I just think they, I, that's from what I personally like. So we're going to take a look at each one and then we will um, see what Westminster and um, Coin Club are offering. So if I click on that. So here's our first one and that is just the regular copper nickel style um, 50 pence so if it was to go like I said if it was to go into circulation this would be the one we get um, gorgeous coin freaky face if we look at the packaging look at that face could you imagine walking or oh, having a swim and then all of a sudden out of the darkness that face is just there in front of you I know I would poop myself to be honest with you <laughs> so if that's what the Loch Ness monster is supposed to be I am going nowhere near Loch Ness until it's proven it's not there. So yeah, there's the coin itself. The packaging is lovely. I like the shades of the greens and the blues they've used 
um, the silhouettes of the look like eels um, all having a bit of a race and then the back end of a shark so again here's the actual coin so you got the Mary Ann in 1823 there um, you got the fossilized flipper I like the detailing in it and then you've got like the weeds the seaweed plants a plesiosaurus across the top and then we've got some more seaweed down there detailing is lovely I like the way they've done the detailing so it looks like shading really nice really gorgeous coin um, I have actually fossil hunted in Charmouth where Mary Annan found the majority of where she's um, the fossils sorry that she's uh, found so I might do a video if you guys want to see it of the fossils that I found uh, me and my son found there um, yeah let me know in the comments if you want to see that we do have a really cool fossil now the packaging here you get like a cutout um, it was on the first one as well where the front actually is a cutout so it looks like the the actual beast is coming at you a little bit um, again really nice I love the way they've done all the other creatures you got like a skeleton down the bottom there but yeah it's just presentation wise it's amazing I love it and then inside obviously you can see more 3d there and then there's Mary Annan and then just different information that comes up on there I will actually download this picture maybe and put it on the community tab so if anyone wants to have a closer look at them they will be there and on Instagram later on today so that's our regular copper nickel offering from the Royal Mint then we have the colored version so this packaging is slightly different you may notice that it's not in for oh, that face um, it's not in 3d at the front that's because there's something special on the inside there's the coin in its presentation again it's just the same as the other one but with a slight difference let's go down and we pick it up here so instead of it being 3d on the outside you open it up and you get like a pop-up book kind of style which is really cool which is really really cool indeed really like that it still has all the same information but just presented in a different way I really like that idea and the background is amazing as well very very cool so let's have a closer look at the colored version so let's have a look at that face there we go so sometimes when you're looking at them you can see that they're not perfectly aligned with the actual minting but this one looks pretty good so yeah the detailing the spots the coloring and then there's the fossil itself really really nice and then there is a photo of the back of it there we go back of the packaging so you still got all the same information as we did in the last one just with that extra pop-up book style in its so then we do have two different types of um, silver proofs as well we have the colored and the non-colored I prefer the colored one myself it looks kind of looks like the fossil has been in a presentation box so it's been preserved with the sample name across the top there really really cool there you got what is on the coin oh look we can do that what is on the coin is down the side in color as well so they've added the color to that bit and not actually on the coin which is really nice really cool looking um, packaging on this this would be the one if I was to buy it there's a close-up of the colored silver so this one obviously as you go along there'll be crispering um, mint like the way they're minted so if you think of like a regular circulation coin if I do the clap it'll be clapped like this so that's how fast well they would do it faster than that and then in this one it'll be more kind of thing gold proof would probably be more so as you get better they just 
take that little bit more time minting them and then you get like a more crisper um, look to it. But yeah, it's, it's a lovely coin. There's the queen and then the, you get a nice box which will have silver proof on it. Um, at the bottom, I think it is. It'll tell you silver proof. But yeah, really nice packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous coin. Then we have the non-colored silver proof. Now this one comes in its own little presentation. Um, I think it's made a card, this one. Um, and then you can see on the inside, it's got the nice felt, felt and your certificate of authenticity. This one doesn't have a number. It'd be cool if they put the numbers on it and then someone actually got that number and it'd be like, yeah, that's my one there, but you know. And then there's the lovely silver proof um, coin. Now to show it's silver proof, they've done it to the side. They've just angled it a bit. But yeah, you can see like the difference in the look. It's just so nice. So nice indeed. This one's only 3,000 worldwide as well. And then you've got the queen there, the packaging. So you can see it's the same packaging as the other one, but they show you it laying down there. And then you've got a 20, uh, Plesiosaurus 2021 UK 50p silver proof coin across the bottom there. Um, then we've got the gold proof. Now this is like the big daddy of them all. Only two, 250 worldwide of this coin will ever be, be produced. So I've got a feeling this is gonna sell out um, pretty quick. And then we'll never see it again. They'll be put away, hidden away forever. And then in 50 years time, we'll see them at probably about 10 grand each. <laughs> but yeah, so this one comes in a mahogany style box probably veneered uh, box but still quite nice reminds me of the box that I have one of my uh, watches in that I never wear that has uh, diamonds and sapphires in it but yeah really nice box you got your certificate on the back again it tells you there uh, 50p gold proof coin then the coin is inlaid in there in its capsule now what I the only gripe I have with this coin is if you look at a on the royal mint website and you look at the bullion the gold coins they're yellow you look at these gold coins they're pinkish now that reminds me of when you add a too like you add copper to gold and they call it a rose gold um that's what this reminds me of so um they haven't actually put the um, percentage of gold in this coin so I don't think this is going to be like 24 carat or anything like that but it's still a lovely coin um, there's the scary face <laughs> in gold right so yeah that's it you got the packaging there it says Plesiosaurus uh, 2021 UK 50p gold proof coin now we've got that's what Royal Mint are selling as their range now we've got Westminster Collection. So the Westminster Collection is obviously a partner of the Royal Mint. They have been for years. They had the monopoly of selling the Royal Mint coins in a carded format. So basically the size of a, um, like a Pokemon card or a collector's card you get and you can put it in the sleeves in a the folder. Um, then folders are rubbish like I mean, my son had one and I literally picked up the folder one time and the coins went flying across the room because they're not held in with anything um so yeah the room um sorry uh Westminster collection are off got four different offerings they've obviously got the silver proof colored they've got the uh regular 50p in the card for four pounds 50 they've got silver proof plain and they've got the um, regular 50p pack. But the one we're gonna look at here is the actual um, carded version. Now they used to be 299 for these. When I first started buying from Westminster before they banned me 
for some reason, which I'm not going to get into. Um, <laughs> they used to be two ninety nine. Then they started doing this thing where you get it for face value. That is one of the biggest scams ever because what they've done is they've raised the price of the coins up to four pounds fifty to counter doing that promotion. So technically, you're not you're paying more for it just so they can make it look like they're doing that promotion. Um, that's the reason why they lifted the price. They will tell you it's not, but that's actually why. And that was one of my gripes with them that, well, one reason why they don't like me and they blacklisted me off their list. But we have an alternative now to that. So you can see here, this is what they offer. It's just in a blue card. Um, and there we go, there's the back. So it does give you like the, the, the diameter and the weight of the coin and then just some change checker information there coin club they have actually i don't know if they've done a deal with royal min or they've become a partner with royal min or whatever but they are doing carded coins so i've seen the mr men and i've seen these now as carded 2.99 for the 50 piece so you can actually sign up and get all three in one go i have done that to see if they're uh, how the cards are how the coin quality is and stuff like that so hopefully when the third one comes out I'll have them quite quick and we can do a, a look at them but yeah they are offering it for 2.99 I can't remember what the price of the uh, let's have a look delivery and returns info let's click on that so your delivery cost is 50p more than um, Westminster because they're at 2.99 so what's that? Six pounds fifty versus where are we? Seven pounds fifty, yeah. So you save a pound on each one with this, but still, you know, a pound is a pound. It's to, equals to two fifty p's in your collection, maybe. So if you want to go this route and get it from the coin club, order from the coin club. If you've signed up to the subscription service with Westminster, just stay with them if you're happy with them but you do get to save a pound with the coin club um, it's interesting to shop about their one is obviously more landscape as well so I don't know if they're gonna bring out a nice uh, folder for it um, if not you'll have to put your coins in lopsided into a folder but it'd be interesting to see if you could actually get a folder for them um, but yeah I think they, the presentation is nice both of them presentations are nice. I do like the shade of blue in that. They do look nice, really, in it. And if you're doing um, date runs and stuff like that, this is how you want to go. Um, this is the easiest, cheapest way to go, really. Either Westminster or the Coin Club. So, guys, what do you think of the brand new Mary Annin um, 50 pence? I think it's gorgeous. Um, obviously, I've got this one on its way. And I've got uh, signed up for these guys. I do have the Westminster offering of the first one, which I will do a review on soon. Um, but yeah, really, for me, a really gorgeous coin. I hope they do this for a few more years. Um, if, if, you know, th th there's so many dinosaurs that around the British Isles. We need to do this. And I hope that Royal Mint do more Pacific and more um, meaningful coins besides this cartoon is having a anniversary let's make 50,000 coins of them but yeah guys so let me know in the comments what you think of it and I will see you in the next one so take care coin hunters and I will see you later happy coin hunting and goodbye